Hello everyone and welcome to particle systems and more specifically Boyds. If you've never heard of Boyds before, um, well you're in for a treat because it's a lot of fun to use and you can do a lot of different things with it as well. Um, so to start this off I'm just going to delete my cube. There we go and shift A mesh add a plane for... Um, no, let's actually add a sphere and shade it smooth just for the idea. Um, and then we can go to particle systems, hit the plus sign, and we are in emitters, right? So if you play this now, it will all drop out beautifully. Now, there is some stuff we can do here. Now, by default, I'm just going to leave this at like 300 for now. And what I want to do is I'm going to set my end frame to one as well. And what it means is it's going to spawn all the 300 particles at the same time. Because once I want um, a void system of like flocking insects, right, that are flying somewhere around in the screen, I would want all of these insects to be there at the same time, right? And unless you're somehow managing to make these insects come out of like a beehive or some other kind of cave or, or place they usually hide, um, then I just want them to be all in, this, in the scene at the same time. So that will be this, and I'm going to set my lifetime to 200, there we go, and I'm going to set my end frame to 200 as well, just so that when we play this, and we have all the particles in the scene for the entire time. Um, so to start this off, let's just unfold this, um, we can go to the physics tab here. Um, and there's a few physics settings, right, by default it will just be Newtonian, which is what we use in real life as well pretty much right we've got gravity um and but we can set this to be boids right and that is going to be the fun part so when we click boids um a lot is going to change here the rotation tab is gone for example and um, but we get some new kind of um menus here that we can use so if i play this now you can see that everything is already behaving in a different way already pretty much like Blocking insects or birds or whatever. Alright, um, let me save this real quick. A reminder, save your file points, for example. And there's a lot of things we can tweak in here. For example, uh, how they move, right? We can allow them to fly, allow them to land on a surface, even allow climbing, right? Um, so there's a lot you can play around with. And it's not very intuitive what you should be doing here. Um, because a lot of the settings will be a bit random and their names will be a bit random as well and you'll see that in, in a little bit as well. Um, I'm gonna just collapse this and open up uh, the main attraction here which is the Boyd's Brain. Alright, so here we have a real evaluation which is very important um, because we basically define how the Boyd Brain is going about each rule. And this means that we can choose from fuzzy, we can choose from random and average, and each one of these will be a different um, outcome of how your boids will behave. Um, so a fuzzy is the main one, and that basically means that it's going from top to bottom through your system, um, and it will define how strong a rule is uh, impacting your boids by the value that you set here. If you set this to random, each board will get a random value. And if you play it like that, um, sometimes I would recommend to reset your cache to um, to clean it up by just adding a little bit of mass and removing a little bit of mass. You can see that each board will just have a different kind of system. Some of them will try to flock, others will try to separate, but not really at the same time. Now, if I set this to average, right, you can see if I set this to a different value, our cache is not cleared, right? You can see the, the red little line there in your timeline. Um, and that basically means that your cache is not cleared. And if I now play this, it will be exactly the same as before. So clean it by adding mass and removing mass. And you can see that if I set this to be average, each board is going to try to do... Um, separating and flocking at the same time at average values which means they will always try to separate but always try to flock as well which gets this quite a fun fun little grouping effect right um, could be interesting for some kinds of insects or birds even right that are flying through the sky in little flocks um, quite interesting now you can add more rules as well so hit the plus sign and you can avoid collisions you can follow a leader 
um, you can do an average speed fight even. Um, so let's reset this. I'm going to set my rule back to fuzziness so we have more control. And then at the end, I'm going to set this to be a follow leader. And we can set what the leader is. So we can, for example, hit shift A and find an empty object and name this leader. And then we can just move this somewhere in the scene, right? And if we then select our particle system and we select our empty to be our leader, all right, let's see what happens. So you can see that the fuzziness rule is making them less chaotic and they will in fact be looking for that empty object, right? So if I move this closer, you can see that they're going to try and head over to an empty object. Okay, um, so you can use this to follow your leader. You can animate the path, for example, where they're trying to go, um, which is very interesting. So by default, they won't be affected that strongly, but you can change that by, for example, having this rule version is a little bit higher, which means that it's going to be evaluating this on a stronger level. And you can set the distance to be, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. It should be the distance they will stay away from your um, leader pretty much. So the closer you set this, the closer they're going to try to get pretty much. So let's set this to 0.5. And let's just see what happens, right? So they should now be stronger. Um, their, their will to get to the leader should be stronger, as you can see. And you can also change the order of things. So if you first want them to follow the leader and then separate and then flock, you can totally do that, right? So let's just play this now and see what happens, right? So they're now going to follow your leader and then they will be separating and flocking. Right, and which is interesting. Um, what we can do as well is add a separate first because we would also always want them to separate a little bit, and then after our flocking, we could even add another separate, just a small one. There we go. So now we can even do a separate at the start and a separate at the end, so they're always a little bit separating, as you can see. Right, and what we can do as well is in our movement we can add a personal space, right? Even insects need a little bit of personal space. <laughs> Set this to like two, and they will need more personal space. They will uh, come less close, right? In the chaotic system that we have here. <laughs> quite interesting. So that is quite beautiful. And what we can do now is just animate this, for example, hit I um, to add a keyframe at frame one. And let's at 80, set this to be like there. And then at 160, we can move it here. And then at 200, we can move it back here, for example. Right? And then if we play the system, you can see that they're going to be following the leader, but the leader is going to be moving away. So they need to chase the leader through the scene, which adds a nice effect. Right? Um, so you can change the the maximum speed at which they try to follow your leader, the maximum velocity, uh, the default settings actually look quite nice, I'd say. And the fun thing is we can even add a vortex effect, right? F um, force fields, for example, hit the self effect, effect of amount, which is gonna tell you choose one. And then the type we can do, for example, a little bit of um, wind, let's do wind. And then when we play this, there's also going to be wind involved, which is going to push these points more to the left, for example. All right? Quite interesting. And we can set this to be um, all sorts of things. Um, so let's just choose a little bit of turbulence so they have a little bit of chaotic um, stuff going around them. We can even add some noise. We can make this a bit stronger. Right? And that should just give them a harder time to really follow the leader because they will be also be moving around with turbulence right and let's just set this to 10 to really see the effect there All right so they're really going to be spreading up more and um, there's wind affecting them sometimes pushing them out and um, which is making them mad and having to chase harder about this little leader object right beautiful now if you want to render this as for example um, insects or flying insects all you need to do is create an insect object so let's just create a little um, we, let's just make like a firefly I guess so I'm gonna hit shift a mesh start with a plane scale this down and I'm gonna make this very very low poly all right so let's just move this or extrude with E and Y scale this down a little bit and the back part as well EY 
scale this down a little bit. There we go. Then let's extrude everything up. E. There we go. I'm going to move it just a little bit. And I'm going to select this and this bottom by holding shift. And SZ. Make it a little bit more spherical, I guess. There we go. And we can also do the same with the sides here. SX. And then press A and SX and move everything inwards just a little bit. So now it's a shape. Beautiful. Now let's add some wings, okay? So select this. Shift D. Escape. P. Separate selection. Now this is a new object. And in edit mode, we can just scale this down like that. Let's go to top view, number 7. And extrude this out to be like a wing, I guess. Something like this. Beautiful. And let's actually scale that inner part down just a little bit, right? So Alt Z to go into X ring, select that face, press S Y, scale it down just a little bit. And we can now just mirror this, right? So mirror. And there we go. Right? So if you want to animate this, right? And um, we can do that with shape keys quite easily. Go to data. Um, and if we want to add a shape key, let's make sure that the wing is in the right position first. And to do that, right? We can actually um, press tab, Alt Z, and select this little face, Shift S cursor to select it. And let's right the mouse, set origin to 3D cursor. And then in the modifiers, let's select a mirror object to be our plane there. And now we can actually animate this in edit mode to rotate around our origin. Um, so just set this to be our... Um, we can just choose 3D cursor for now. Now to add a little bit of animation to our wings, um, let's go to zero in our timeline and just rotate our Y, um, lock it to Y, R, Y. There we go. Rotate it around to the top position of our wing and then right mouse on our rotation Y value, insert single keyframe. And then let's go to like 16 and move it down there. Right mouse, insert single keyframe and let's move to 30 and select our left keyframe, Control C, Control V. So now that is one loop. Um, it's actually a little bit short. So uh, let's select everything, go to frame zero, and just scale it down. So it's a little bit quicker. That's better. Perhaps a bit more even. Make sure to set to uh, one keyframe to scale, so everything is scaled according to that point. There we go. Um, now open up a new window, and set this to Graph Editor. Now select your Y oil rotation, open up that right window. Hello, there we go. And let's go to modifiers. And we can add a cycles modifier, which is going to allow us to basically repeat that motion over and over again, as you can see. Beautiful. Now select both objects, press M, new collection, Firefly. There we go. And once they are in a collection, we can go to our void system, right? particles and we can set our render the tab of rendering where is it there we can set this to be collection and we can just find our firefly collection then whole collection and up the scale so we can see them something like that add a little bit of randomness to it as well why not and now they are flapping flapping around in our scene following our leader all right crazy isn't it and they will follow the wing patterns that we animated beautiful um so they are a little bit chaotic i must say so i'm gonna set the separate to be oh sorry the um, maximum distance the air personal space to be like one again and um, just to make them a little bit less chaotic and let's also go to the turbulence field and set that strength a little bit less so force field settings and set the strength to like three all right, that's quite beautiful. Okay, so now we can just go to a rendered view, see how this looks, you know, set this to cycles and GPU. And let's just delete our little light. There we go. Set our world to be zero strength. And then in a solid view, we can go to our Firefly object, right? You can just select the body or rename it. All right, this is the body. Those are the wings. Let's select the body and hit the dot in your 3D window, the dot on your keyboard. And we can just set, um, I think the, the back of a firefly is usually the thing that lights up, right? So select the entire back part, hit materials, plus this will be new 
base and hit plus new. This is going to be light and hit assign. And then we can change this from principle to be emission. Make it yellow and set the strength to five. And then the base, let's make this black and make it rough. And the wings, I don't know. Let's hit new and let's just decrease the alpha a little bit. Add a little bit of transmission. Beautiful. <laughs> and let's see how this looks, right? Perhaps a little bit more transmission could even work better. Reduce the roughness a little bit. You know, we'll see. So we at least have a little bit of a firefly look now, right? So if it flaps around, we can see some light in the scene. So now we pretty much have our system in place and you know how to use boys, I hope. Right, so this is perfect to add to any scene that needs a little bit of life in it, right? Any environment scene, um, it, there's always some kind of little insects flying around, right? Whether it's gonna be flies or bees or fireflies or moths or birds, right? Um, you can use this for a lot of things and they will add a lot of life to your scene because they actually have a brain. A boy brain with a brain nonetheless. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. We will enjoy any one of these. And enjoy your flocking uh, particle system. Alright? Cheers.